guys so it's Kiosh and I'm back for another video if you guys enjoy my videos please make sure you give them a thumbs up make sure you guys subscribe make sure you turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos from me and without further ado let's just get into today's video okay you guys so as you can tell from the title of today's video I am doing a bedroom tour I get a lot of questions about my bedroom when I post on Instagram and when I post on here where's your furniture from where'd you get your bedding from oh how did you come up with this thing what did you do this what did you do that and so I thought I would just make a video to kind of hopefully answer a lot of those questions for you guys and kind of give you a tour of the full space I know you guys see it in my actual like vlogs all the time but I never go into detail like where things are from and why I chose what I chose and why I did what I did so I kind of want to just give you guys a bedroom tour all right you guys so first I want to give you guys a background on my home so if you guys don't know I live in a manufactured home is a 19 1999 version is a double wide trailer whatever you would like to call it it is four bedrooms and two baths and a living room a kitchen a den and a laundry room and my bedroom is on one side of the house and then the kids bedrooms are on the other side or all the other bedrooms are on the other side of the home and so I have been living in this home for 17 years we moved in a couple of months before Jalen was born um, and I have been living here ever since I have three beautiful acres but only about a half an acre is cleared off where the home is in the front yard and a little bit on the side and of course where we park the cars but most of my my acres are still wooded and just got animals galore out there this still I haven't had a decision of whether I'm gonna knock it down or clear it off or do any of that and I'm kind of really loving how secluded I am in the area that I live so it most likely will stay like that unless I just have a big epiphany to do something else um, so let's get into my bedroom so when we first moved in I didn't have any bedroom furniture the previous owners actually left a dark cherry wood California King bed along with the nightstands and so we kind of took that on um, when we first moved in I started wanting to rechange my bedroom after I got separated and was about to get a divorce I wanted a change I didn't want to remember anything about this room with him involved and I didn't want it to look like it looked when we first moved in to bring up bad memories and stuff so it's more like me doing a fresh new start is why I actually started remodeling my bedroom when I first started remodeling my bedroom I did kind of keep the dark look I kept the furniture I changed out the floors to like a dark cherry wood that was a big big mistake <laughs> but I thought that's what I wanted at the time but clearly that was not what I wanted um and so that was a big big mistake and so I think around 20 18 2019 end of 2018 early 2019 is when I actually really went into the theme that I am now which is the modern farmhouse I love 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 modern farmhouse I think I will forever I know a lot of people say it goes in and out of style but for me it's going to be my style forever and always unless I just dramatically change into something else but that is what I love and so that is what I'm going to do so when I started over I knew the first thing I wanted to do was change out the floors I knew I needed new laminate floors we could not keep that dark cherry wood it literally showed every piece of dust mite you could ever find it just got something about laminate floors hardwood floors they just dusty y'all you can vacuum all day you can swiffer all day it just collects dust and when it's a dark color you can just see every little speckle and it just literally got on my nerves so what I love about my new floors is they are dark but they are also like light so it's like a middle ground um, from the dark dark cherry wheel but not a super light light like yellow or washed out color laminate floor it's like a beautiful beautiful like gray browns and tans and it really went with the furniture that I picked out and so this is why I picked it so me and my friend Ophelia actually put in these floors together she helped me take up my old floors that I had put down and she helped me put these in um, note about me I am a DIY person I am on a limited income therefore I do a lot of things myself and putting in laminate floors is uh, time-consuming your knees will hurt you will be sore but it's also very cost efficient and you really don't have to pay nobody to do it just watch you a YouTube video like I did and so that is what the first thing I did because I knew when they would deliver the bed and I sold my old bed and I was actually sleeping on a mattress on the floor for about two weeks before they delivered my new bed because I was gonna sell my bed and get some money to help me you know 
fund this project that I wanted to do in my bedroom. And so I put in the laminate floors myself and they're from Home Depot. It was years ago. They probably don't even make it anymore, but I did get them from Home Depot and I absolutely love them. So next let's move on to the furniture. So I went to a place called Royal Furniture to get my furniture. And the reason why I went is because they was having a good deal. They had, if you applied and you were approved for their credit card, then you could buy up to your credit card limit and get interest free for the life of that loan or that payment plan. So if you spent so much money, you paid as much a month, then as long as you paid it on time and didn't miss a payment, you would not be charged any interest on the items that you purchased. And so that was exactly, definitely perfect for me at the time. I was on, like I said, a strict budget. I only had so much money and me being able to make payments on it was absolutely the best. So I actually got a lot. I think I got approved for like $4,500 or something like that. So I got this bedroom suit and it's not really even a bedroom suit. So the bed actually came with different nightstands. But for me, I like tall nightstands. I don't like nightstands that are down on the floor. You got to reach down and almost fall out of the bed to get them. And my bed sits up really, really high. So I wanted my nightstands to match the, the height of my bed. So these are actually, I think, not i think they're actually like little dressers they're not even considered to be nightstands but i told them i wanted these instead and you never would know that these don't match that they didn't go together that they weren't supposed to come together because they blend together so well they have that beautiful like um what do you call it uh oh, dang it's like rustic what do you call it when you like shave the stuff off i don't know what to call it. like beat up i call it beat up like beat up kind of sand down kind of rough looking and i love that because if the bed ever gets old if it gets scratched you would never know because of how the bed is it just looks like it's part of the bed and i love that and the nightstands are beautiful and so i picked this cream color to kind of brighten up the room based off of the floor it was so dark and then i love the dark tops of the nightstands because because once again my accents in this room are going to be like raw woods in a dark tone it's going to be black and it's going to be cream and those are my accents so those are the three colors that you will always see in my room some version of white whatever from the bright white to cream you'll have blacks in here and then you'll have the dark wood tones so the dark wood tones are like a walnut color if you guys wanted to know so i started off with the bedroom suit and it's absolutely gorgeous it's so beautiful thing, so above my bed there is a sign is that dark wood once again with the white background with the black leathers which goes into the theme of the room um it says give it to god and go to sleep and i basically got this from a place called mulberry or I can't remember the name of it, but I'll put it down below. I forgot the name of it, but they have some beautiful signs. So if you saw the sign in my living room, the sign I have for Christmas, I got those signs from there as well. And so I got this one. And so she always have amazing sales around Thanksgiving and Christmas. So that's usually when I buy them. I don't usually pay full price if I don't have to. So I like to buy them on sale. All right, you guys. So now that we've talked about the bedroom suit, where I've gotten it from and why I chose it, let's just talk about a little bit about bedding. So for me, bedding is the most important thing. When you come into your bedroom and you want a good night's sleep you need really good mattress and really good bedding and we all know when we go to a hotel everybody wants that good hotel feel when they come home it's just something about sliding into the sheets and onto the mattress in a hotel that just instantly calms you and makes you have the best night rest you ever could get i don't know every hotel i've ever gone to i have not been disappointed in the beds and so i knew i wanted that feeling when i came home and so i tried to for years to chase that feeling and i think i kind of got it down packed now um so for me the first thing is a mattress pad or a mattress cover or a topper or whatever you would like to call it it's just like something that has either down feathers or alternative or just really fluffy or the memory foam just to give you that nice like luxury feel when you get in the bed i'm the kind of person who when i get in my bed and i lay down i want to feel like i'm sinking into the bed now i like firm medium to firm mattresses so i don't like for mine to be too hard or too soft because it makes my back hurt but that in between along with the mattress topper that just you just like just fall in the bed it's just like you just covered it's just 
I don't even know how to describe it. It's just like you fold into the bed when you lay down. I love it. And another luxury for me is to have a heated mattress pad or a heated blanket. And for me, having those items is like having a towel warmer for your bathroom. Imagine it's a cold day. You just got out of the shower. You got on your pajamas. It's a cold day like it is today. The high was like 29 or something crazy like that. And you turn on that heated mattress pad or that heated blanket 30 minutes before you get in bed it's like slicing butter with a hot knife i don't know how to describe it but i absolutely love it ever since i have gotten that on my bed i have the best night sleep if you're hot blooded i apologize i know this is not something you guys would enjoy because it just be so hot but i'm very much cold nature so i actually love it and i have a heated blanket at the moment that goes from a one to a high so you can change the temperature and make it as hot as you want or as warm as you want or not and sort of in between and you can also have different temperatures when you have the mattress topper as well so moving on to the actual um, bedding so I love to always like I said have a heated mattress pad I have a heated blanket I'll have a quiltlet and then I'll have a sheet set of course and then I will have a duvet with the duvet inserts and then I will have a blanket and that is all I put on my bed I don't want to have a lot of bedding because the more bedding you have the more you have to wash now I wash my sheets once a week but I wash like my big bedding once a month and so that's kind of how I do it to kind of make it more manageable so I decided to get these beautiful linen or linen blend um, duvet covers from Castelluna line at Target I talk about the Castelluna line all the time it is one of the best like bedding lines hands down for an affordable price that Castelluna line from Target is a bomb.com I can't say enough about it I don't had these for years and I have been washing and drying them and they look just like I just bought them I absolutely love it I have it in like a creamy beige color and then I have it in a stark white as well because I absolutely love them and then I also have their knitted blankets in a beigey color and then I have it in a stark white as well just because I love how heavy they are I love the texture of it and I love how it looks layered with the duvet I have uh, six pillows that I actually um, put on my bed so I have four standard pillows and two king pillows and that's because my um, bedding uh, my blankets and my heated blanket and my um, topping blanket and my duvet are all king size I have a queen size bed but I always go up one size because I just feel like I need all of the blankets to curl up and cozy in and I never thought that I would be like a 15 pillow girl but I, I ain't hating the pillow I love how it looks when my bed is made up it just looks really nice and luxurious in here and the cozy and so I actually do love it and it really don't take as much time as you think it would but you know a lot of people are like girl all them blank I, I was that person I was that person to say what you doing all them pillows but I love it I love it now so moving on to the foot of my bed so at the foot of my bed I have this little couch that I got from at home and the reason why I got the couch is because I love to watch TV you guys don't know me I am a movie buff I love to watch TV before I go to bed I gotta watch me a movie a show or something child YouTube video something and I'm just the kind of person who could not live in their bedroom without a TV like I'm the TV girl like I know a lot of people don't put TVs in their bedroom I need mine I need it I need it and I need it okay so I found myself laying in my bed watching TV and what happens is when you lay in your bed besides sleeping like to lounge around during the day or to watch movies or to chill or whatever the case may be and not for sleeping you wear your mattress out a lot more that way especially in non-sleeping hours so I found that I would need either some chairs or some couches and based on the the width between my bed and the fireplace that I have, there was only so much room that I could get to have a couch. But I wanted a couch so bad. I looked it up and I love how couches look at the end of a bed. Now, mine is not my ideal couch. I would love to have something that's a little bit more plush, a little bit more um, soft. But unfortunately, you know, they was very, very expensive because I needed like apartment size furniture. And sometimes that can be really expensive. So this one right here is pretty comfortable. I mean, it's not the best couch ever. It's not anything that I would truly recommend, but it gets the job done and it looks amazing at the end of the bed. And it's actually really, really nice. Um, I think it was $400 or something like that. And then I just got an L shaped table. So when I'm eating there 
or editing or sitting or have anything to drink or my coffee or a snack or something I have a table to put it on um, to make sure we don't have any spills or anything but that is the reason why I got the couch and I knew I wanted a couch and not a chair because I like to lounge I like to lay out and all that kind of stuff and so I definitely needed a couch so of course let's talk about the fireplace so moving in front of the couch is my fireplace I did get it from um, Big Lots yes Big Lots Big Lots has some really really nice fireplace and I did catch this one on sale I think it was originally like seven hundred dollars like 6.99 and i ended up getting it for like 350 dollars shout out to the big locks um employee who got me to sign up get my little coupon for 20 percent off and give me his employee discount and some other stuff so i can get it for 350 i absolutely love this fireplace it goes beautifully with the theme of my room as you can tell it is that nice light cream at the bottom and the dark wood at the top which is what the theme of my bedroom is above that i did put my tv i did get it mounted on the wall a couple of years ago it did sit on i had a smaller tv and for my birthday a couple of years ago i got me a 55 inch and on top of there like i said i like to keep everything minimalist i don't like to have a lot of stuff on top of my surfaces because that's more stuff you have to clean and move out of the way so i literally have like two little pillar things up there with two fake candles i have this beautiful dobo that my mom got me for my birthday one year is absolutely the perfect color to match in here and then i also have just this little stack of fake books that just says wine is bottled poetry just something super and calm and cool and collected to put up there it's styled but it's not over styled it's not overly cluttered and i'm just not about clutter so let's just move around the room so next i have this mirror that i actually was gifted to me actually alicia was giving it away and i told a girl pass it on over it will match in my room up perfectly you guys saw i previously had it in my closet but this area was going to be like blank looking i didn't know how to fill it in so i felt this mirror needed to come back out so i put the mirror back out here and it actually looks good Next to the mirror, I have another dark wood basket with the white blanket version of the one that I currently have on my bed from the Target by the Castelluna line. And then I have this beautiful dark wood uh, stereo stand that I actually built myself. I built it myself, yes, in like a day or two. I watched the video. I loved it. So I built it so I would have somewhere to put my personal record player here in my bedroom is actually a vintage record player that i got from a vintage refurbished like sound shop and it plays perfectly and beautifully so i just built it and i have of course my my records and my record player my speakers are under it and then i have the little turntable or the tuner or whatever the official name of it is for that and i absolutely love it so moving on to this doorway this is to my bathroom it was a double door that you opened up but it actually just took up so much room to open and close them doors that i just took them off and i hung up this curtain rod and i just put some nice like linen curtains that my mom bought me there to separate the bathroom from the bedroom and i don't have to look at it i eventually want to do barn door there either a two-part barn door or either a one whole barn door but i haven't figured it out yet so once i get my bathroom remodeled we'll probably do the door after the bathroom is done um and then on the second nightstand i just literally have some flowers on this round wood piece and i got the wood piece from i think tj maxx the candle was a gift it's like a mother's day candle um the blackened little candle clipping things i actually got from this shop when i went to one of the marketplaces she was selling candles and she had that with it so i bought the candle in that and then that rustic uh i don't know what you call it vase thing i got it from actually from a walmart i got that from walmart along with the flowers and i stuck it in there i have some of my little bible books there just to decorate and then of course i have the matching lamp that i have on my side of the bed uh, both sides of mine but i mostly sleep on the left side of my bed that's just my side <laughs> if you know if you know and then behind me you guys see i have this beautiful console table i actually my one of my neighbor old neighbors built this console table for me out of scrap wood it's absolutely gorgeous so he sanded down cut it down to the dimensions that i wanted for this wall and he built the legs and he put it in the same tone as the rest of my bedroom so light wood um bottom with the dark walnut top to match the rest of the theme 
And then I have some books on here. Some of my favorite books. My favorite book of all time is The Year of Yes by Shonda Rhimes. If you have not read it, read it. I got this Dobo, I think from TJ Maxx. I got these um, wooden garland from a black owned company. And then the candle is from TJ Maxx somewhere random like that. And then this window pane I got actually from a, uh, what's some little shops where they go? I can't remember. It's not a thrift store, but it's like a place where you go and get like secondhand DIY like windows and tubs and stuff. I can't remember what they call them, but I got that from there. It was only like $2. And then that vase is from Target and then the flowers in it. I've had them flowers for 1200 years. I do not remember where they're from. I actually found them the other day when the vase was empty. I was like, I need to put some in that vase. And then I remembered I had those. I have three red actually and three whites, but you know, I don't do color. So we put the white in there. And then down below that, I have this basket that my mom gave me. And I have this blanket also from that same black owned company that I got the garland from. And then inside of the basket is where I keep my extra linens. I don't have a lot of storage space in the manufacturer home because you know they don't have attics and they don't have basements. So the closets is all you have. And so my linen closet in my master bedroom bathroom is absolutely stuffed to capacity with like hair stuff and all other kind of stuff that I can't really even fit my linens anywhere except the top and that's full already so I put like my sheets and my extra comfort let sets I fold them up inside of each other and I put them in the basket and it is um, secondary for storage so it's kind of style and storage as, as well and I'm currently sitting on the ottoman that is um, that goes next to it my mom found this for me at bargain hunt it's originally from Target you know Target is expensive but a lot of like bargain hunt gets a lot of targets like old items or items that they are trying to get rid of and they sell they target stuff at discount price so if you've never been to a bargain hunt go because they sell target stuff in the bar bargain hunt at a much better price than target does so yes and last but not least is my ceiling fan i did put this ceiling fan up myself as well i love it because it is black but then if you notice the blades have the same type of color dimension pattern that my flooring does and it matches absolutely perfectly so i knew i had to get it and then it has these three little lights on there i am somebody who loves daylight bulbs so during the day i want my room to be bright and airy for you to be able to see but at night i do like a more chilled out calm look and although my light bulbs in my actual lamps on my nightstands are daylight bulbs because of the shade that's on there is a um like tanny beige color it kind of tones it down and still brings you that like calm and cool collected mood at nighttime so i actually love that ambiance and then the last thing i want to say is for convenience i did install a um remote thing that goes with my light up there so i can actually turn my light off with this remote as you guys can see and i can turn the fan on three different speeds or turn the fan off with this remote i'm very much somebody who is about convenience it's not necessarily laziness it's more about convenience why get up and go turn the light switch off when you can use remote that part all mm -hmm. right so also i want to talk a little bit about organization so you guys say oh kiosh you don't have anything on your nightstands you don't have anything anywhere where do you keep like your remotes and like you said there's remote for this light there's remote for these lamps where do you keep you know your cell phone anything that i feel i need to have in reach is in the top drawer of my nightstand so inside of that nightstand i have my laptop i have my ipad and so what i love about it the plug is right next to the nightstand so i can actually plug it and charge it while it's inside of that um drawer i have in there my remotes to everything that i use remote for so i have pens i have um books i have my bible just anything that i reach to on a regular basis is in that first drawer of that nightstand i do need to organize a little bit more get some little compartmental things but for now it's very functional and it keeps everything off of the top of the nightstand but it also keeps it somewhere where i remember where these things are things that i'm looking for or using on a regular basis are in that top drawer all right, you guys, so we're at the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of my master bedroom. Let me know what was your favorite part about my bedroom? What was your favorite item that you liked or love or any other comments that you have about my master bedroom? Uh, like I said, if you enjoy these videos, please give them a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos from me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.